taken off, Josh. Yeah. The Starlight Parade is so fun. I don't, did you get a chance to check it out last year? I didn't. I missed out on it last year. Well, this is your year. That it is. Hopefully we'll have weather like we're having today. Uh, you know, the trend is really looking to be that way. Mm -hmm. So that's the good news as we are holding on to some breezier conditions up in elevation this afternoon. A bit of a time-lapse view of Mount Hood with those crystal blue skies and plenty of sunshine raining down across our region. But you'll notice a little bit of a lenticular cloud developing earlier this morning as a wind advisory is in effect for the eastern sections of the Columbia River Gorge. That's where we could potentially see some wind gusts upwards of 45 to 50 miles per hour all the way through about 11 o'clock tonight. So down trees and power outages a possibility as the breezy conditions are also found out towards the Mount Hood Meadows area with the melting snow now underway. And we can see that here with our snowpack levels slowly starting to diminish, specifically right here along the Oregon and Washington border, still holding on to a decent snowpack out towards the east and southern sections of our state. But this is very typical for the month of May, seeing deep melting snow. We can also see that here with our ski reports uh, drifting down to uh, almost below 100 inches in many cases, approaching that marker out towards the Timberline Lodge area. But with all of that melting uh, water and snow up in elevation, that means that our rivers and streams are going to be running just a little bit on the cooler side. So if you are going to be out and about, make sure to wear that life vest. Now, if you are maybe doing some paddling this afternoon. Winds are going to be calm here, at least for the Portland metro area. Sunshine continues to take over. Temperatures back up into the low 70s as we take a live look now out along the Columbia River out towards the Vancouver waterfront. Thanks to the Hotel Indigo Kirkland Tower camera as our temperature right now warming up into the mid 60s. We'll see a mix of sun and clouds. Again, those fair weather cumulus clouds not impacting our temperatures from warming up close to almost 70 degrees later this afternoon as the cloud coverage is still holding on to parts of the shoreline. Some of those clouds will be thrown into the Willamette Valley and over the high terrain at the Cascades, but overall a nice day setting up as we continue to keep track of those dry days. Eight now in the bank where we last saw our measurable rainfall of about a trace back on May 7th, but we've already seen a surplus of moisture so far in the month of May, and that's really helped to improve our drought situation. The far right image, well, no abnormally dry conditions in the northwest corner of the Beaver State. So we have seen improvements thanks to the very soggy start to the month of May as where the normal conditions are expected to once again return to much of the Pacific Northwest with a bit of a cooling trend over the next 8 to 14 days. Now, if you are planning on maybe heading out to the coastline this weekend, you can expect to see some of those wetter than average conditions once again return Saturday, Sunday as we get back up into the mid to upper 50s and those clouds helping to reduce the UV index today here in the city 72 degrees plenty of sunshine to go around with winds out of the north northwest at about 5 to 10 tonight the clouds will start to increase keeping our temperatures quite comfortable at about 48 degrees winds will transition and become out of the west northwest at about 5 to 10 seven day forecast does show dry skies at least for the next two days it's Saturday that the clouds will start to increase and maybe a raindrop or two will come out of some of those clouds where the rain potential increases ever so slightly on Sunday and then again for election day on Tuesday as our temperatures vary anywhere from the mid to upper 60s to the low 70s over the next week. So the Goldilocks zone mm -hmm. of the month of May is here and it's here to stay at least for the next seven days. Yeah, and we need the rain as we far do. as wildfires, keeping your plants pretty, you mm -hmm. know, and the temperatures aren't bad. So no. that there's that. Okay, we'll be right back.